Let's talk now about anchoring. Anchoring is a topic that's near and dear to my heart. I have used it so many times and I've really enjoyed working with it. Anchoring is something that is so powerful and so easy to use that I believe everyone should use it all the time. I'm a big fan of anchoring. So a lot of times uh, people who have limited exposure to NLP at least know about anchoring and, uh, and the power of it, or they at least do it in some way. So let's talk about it. Oftentimes when you're working with a client, the level of rapport that you have with them can be dynamic. And as you talk about different things, this level of rapport can sort of go in and out. Sometimes you'll, you'll notice you have strong rapport sometimes and other times not so much. And sometimes that's related to the topic at hand, what you're talking about. And you may notice that with friends and loved ones as well. Depending on the topic, it seems that they're, they're distant or they're, or they're close. So it's important to have a method that you can use to reestablish some rapport with your patient because you need to have rapport in order to do any number of things that you're going to do. So among other things that anchoring can do for you, it can do this. It can allow you to, to reestablish that rapport and to even make it stronger. So let's talk about anchoring in terms of establishing rapport. So realize, first of all, that it doesn't take very long to set up an anchor. An anchor, we'll talk about that, is very easy to actually set up. And repeated conditioning and repeated motivations will actually make an anchor more powerful. Okay? And you want to realize that when you work with an anchor, you have to give, in many cases, direct rewards in order to have an anchor become associated with something. This goes back to the Pavlovian model. Pavlov, the Russian scientist from around the year 1900 is about when he was at the height of his popularity, I'd say. And he found out that when you ring a bell and let a dog smell meat powder, eventually all you have to do is ring the bell and the dog will salivate because there's been an association made. So. When we talk about anchors, that's what we're talking about. We're talking about that sort of an association. And anchors are fired off or set off, just like Pavlov with a bell. That's how he fired off or set off the anchor that he used. He rang a bell and it made the dogs salivate. So the more powerful the experience is that's being anchored, the more powerful the response is going to be. So, if you have something that really elicits a lot of response from someone physiologically, gets very excited and so forth, and you anchor that, that's going to be more powerful than if you anchor something that's not so exciting to them. Uh, for example, you're already anchored, probably, if you drive a vehicle, to responding physiologically to what you may see in your rearview mirror in terms of blue lights. If you see blue lights in the rearview mirror, that usually means that a police officer is behind you and is going to take some sort of action. It may not even be concerning you, but maybe you've seen other people be being pulled over before or, or you've been pulled over before for something. And most of us who drive realize that when we see the flashing blue lights, that means there's probably going to be something unpleasant that happens to us or somebody else. So our heart rate can go up, our perspiration can become more profound, our, our breathing rate can increase and so forth. So why is that? Nothing's actually happened yet. We've just seen blue lights. We don't even know if it's for us. But because of our conditioning, because we know that we've seen other people pulled over or maybe we've been pulled over, we know that it represents something unpleasant that has to do with the law. So, we have a physiological response. Now realize that when you're installing an anchor, this is an anchor that's already been installed, your response to the, the police, but when you're installing an anchor, timing 
is actually very important. Timing is important when you're installing an anchor. It's necessary to make sure that you have your timing as accurate as possible in order to properly install it.